Hello. In this video, we'll show you how to connect your RS-175 to your TV. The pack contains the transmitter, the headphones, the power supply, an analog audio cable, an optical cable, and two AAA batteries. First, please be sure to charge the batteries. The rechargeable batteries are only at about 25% when you unpack them, so for a first test of your wireless system it may be sufficient. For the very first charge, however, it is important to charge them for 16 hours in order to calibrate both the technology and the batteries. All further full charges will only take about 8 hours each. Here's how to insert them. You gently twist the ear pads to remove them, and it's one battery on each side. Now you can choose to connect your RS-175 over the optical or analog audio port. Both cables are included in the pack. When possible, we generally recommend to use the optical connection. Plug in the power and the optical cable and make sure the switch is in the upper position. Now let's connect to the TV. Depending on brand and model, your television's connectivity panel could look like this, or this, or this. Pretty much always different, so let's take a closer look. This is an optical audio output. Connect the optical cable here, and you'll be done. Now, when you turn on your RS-175 at the headphones, the transmitter status LED will light up green, provided it is receiving the right signal. Should the status LED at the transmitter start blinking, that's an error message. In this case, please look into your TV's audio settings for the optical output. You might have various options to choose from in there. Try setting your optical output to stereo or PCM if you find those in there. When the right audio signal is selected, the LED will permanently light up green and you're good to go. With the RS-175, you have up to 100 meters or 320 feet of range, depending on your environment. Should you leave the room where the transmitter is and you have, for example, a brick wall in between you and the transmitter, you may experience interference with your reception. Just be aware of this. If your TV doesn't have an optical audio output or it is in use for other equipment, you can also connect over analog audio with the included audio cable. At the transmitter, put the switch in the lower position. Plug in the audio cable, and at your TV, insert it into the headphone output. Done. Now, if your TV is turned on and the volume is up to at least medium level, but you can't hear anything on your wireless headphones, please look into your settings menu to see if you can find an independent volume control for the headphone output in there. At this point, we'd like to mention that when you use your TV's headphone output, it will most likely result in your TV's speakers turning off. So, if you're watching TV with other people, they won't have sound. Now, here's a solution for that. If your TV has an RCA output, you can use it with an adapter. This is what they look like. It's an RCA to audio jack adapter, and they don't cost much. On the back of your TV, look for red and white connections but bear in mind, some might not work for you. In this picture, you can see it says component in, or here it says audio in, and sometimes there is a little symbol, a circle with an arrow going into it. You cannot use these for your wireless system. What your TV needs to have is a port that says audio, or audio output, usually indicated with a circle with an arrow pointing out of it. That's the one. Connect the adapter to the TV and the audio cable onto the adapter. Done. Connect your RS-175 like this and your TV's loudspeakers will remain working. Let's assume you've made all the necessary connections and settings 
you can now turn the system on. Press the power button on the headphones for about two seconds. This turns on both the headphones and the transmitter. And try out the different bass and surround settings. Thank you for watching.